Good morning, Pope Francis. Please stand for prayer in place of the flag. And now invite up Father John for prayer. Good morning, Pope Francis. Our Lenten challenge of the day today is to do something nice for a sibling or a close friend today. Our reflection today is a reflection on hope and trust. And so we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hope is the virtue that makes us desire to attain and possess God by trusting in his help. That is the principal motive of hope. But we also trust in ourselves, in our virtues, in the success of our work, and in our friends. Yet if God suddenly took away from us these human helps, if he revealed to us our miseries and weaknesses, would we still hope in him? The saints hoped against every human hope because of this one motive. God is infinitely powerful and good. He always wishes to raise us up again from our offenses when our soul cries out to him. Thus, Jesus purifies in the crucible of pain the hope of his most intimate friends. When nothing any longer arises for the soul except bitterness from both God and from others, when one is reduced to the same state as our Lord when he exclaimed on the cross, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? then it is that soul's act of love that saves the world. Let us today, therefore, in our suffering and sorrow, in our discouragement and pain, whatever it may be today, lift up to him an act of prayer, an act of hope, an act of trust, that our bitterness may be turned into joy as Jesus draws us closer to himself. And so let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father John. Please face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for announcements. I'm Jaron Coffin, and this is your Pope Prep News and Announcements. Today is Tuesday, March 12th, and it is National Girl Scout Day. Girl Scouting in the United States of America began on this day, March 12th, 1912, when Julia Gordon Lowe organized the first Girl Scout troop meeting. At this first troop meeting in Savannah, Georgia, there were 18 girls present. Since the, since the time of the first meeting, Girl Scouts have grown over 3.7 million members. The annual poetry competition will be accepting submissions until Monday, March 25th. Winners will be awarded a gift card and certificate by visiting poet Jack Powers in April. Please ask your English teacher for information on how to submit your work. There will be a parent meeting for all students interested in going to Spain during April Vacation 2025 on Wednesday evening in Learning Commons from 6 to 7 p.m. Parents must attend in order to sign up. Please see Ms. Orkabi or Ms. Patterson for more details. We, we are focusing on a woman who has made a difference in the business world. Today, we are featuring Susan Wojcicki, from, a past CEO from YouTube whose net worth is over $765 million. Wojcicki has been involved in, tech, in the tech world for over 20 years. Helping to found Google, she became the first marketing manager in 1999. Observing the growth Growing success of YouTube as it started, she suggested Google purchase the video platform and has been its CEO since 2014. Wojcicki has helped the platform grow to serve 2 billion monthly users. She resigned in 2022 to become an advisor fighting for several causes, including the expansion of paid family leave, the plight of Syrian refugees, countering gender discrimination at technology companies, getting young girls interested in computer science and prioritizing computer programming and coding in schools. She currently resides in Belmont, California with her husband and five children. Our news from the sports desk. Winter sports celebration night will be on Monday, March 18th. Students, student athletes and their families are invited to the winter sports celebration. The event will begin in the theater where we will be honoring our winter sports teams and their accomplishments. Today's schedule is G-H-E-F with E-period lunch. And that's all, Pope Francis. Have a great day.